is the season to be jolly. What? Product of the day is the DX2 mouse. So let's take a look. So this is a DX2 mouse. It is suitable for a left-handed person and a right-handed person. You can simply hold it like this if you are a right-handed person. And you can also hold it like this if you are a left-hand person. So let's talk about how this works and the features and what it's all about. This is what it's all about. So it's a vertical mouse. So if you look at it, if I turn it sideways, it looks more like a traditional mouse. So of course you have the left mouse button, the right mouse button, and you have the mouse wheel right here. The only thing is the mouse is used in a vertical fashion. Let's take a look. So this is the mouse vertically as it is to be used. And again, it's left-handed or right-handed, you can use it. If you look here, you see it says left, L for left and R for right. That's how you can switch it very quickly and easily. On the back right here, it just has the model of it, the DX2 mouse. And this is the wireless version. There is a wired version of this mouse. Let's take a look under the hood. Or rather, let's take a look at the bottom of the mouse. So as you can see, there is the little sensor right there, which senses the motion. And there is the on off switch. So you can simply flip it off. That's in the off position or flip it on. And you can see the DPI settings, which you can, which you can change. You can see it says 500, 1000, 1500, 2000. So you can set it up to whatever speed that you need based on the screen size and, and, and what you like, what your comfort levels are. Customize it to your needs. Now before we move on, I want to talk about something that's really cool about this wired version or wireless version. And I'm going to tell you that by telling you a funny story. So when I first got this, I automatically, you know, wireless, it's the wireless version. So I automatically um, assumed that it was Bluetooth. Even though actually I was told that it's not, so that's my bad, but I'm used to, you know, wireless mouse, it's gonna be Bluetooth. That's pretty much a standard thing. So, what did I do? I installed this little device right here, which goes right into the USB port. So I plugged it right in, into my MacBook Pro, and I started trying to pair this Bluetooth device, which is actually not a Bluetooth device, so obviously, um, that did not work and actually I'm, I'm telling you incorrect information what I actually did is I just turned on the mouse and started trying to pair it because I don't need this why would I need this I, I assume this was a, a Bluetooth uh, uh, transmitter right so I, I was like okay I don't need this so I just put that down and I turned this on and then I was uh, what was I doing I was pressing and holding the button in the back I figured that's how you sync it up and then it wouldn't sync up. And by the way, that's how you charge it up. Right there, you see the little micro USB uh, port right there. Right under, right between the left and the right on the bottom there. So anyway, so I presumed it's Bluetooth. So I did press and hold that and it was flashing and I was like, okay, and I'm trying to scan for Bluetooth devices. Nothing was coming up. What's going on? This thing doesn't really work. Well, <laughs> it works. You just have to know what it is that you're using. Not a Bluetooth mouse. This uses radio frequency. So that's why you need this device. Now, to some of you thinking, oh, I don't want a mask where I have to plug in something just to make it work. Um, that's the way a, a majority of mice work, right? Because most mice are wired, right? So you're gonna have to plug in this. The only difference is there'll be a wire between this and the mouse, right? So you have this is what you plug into your computer and then the wire goes to the mouse. So it's normal to plug in your mouse, right? Um, it's only with the wireless mouse that you don't have to plug anything in, so that might be a point someone might mention. However, one thing that is also normal is that Bluetooth is uh, unreliable, so it's a little bit annoying. Sometimes you have to repair and, you know, so you try to use your mouse and it doesn't connect or it drops out in the middle of using it. And it's just, it's, 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 the technology is not really there. It's awesome, has a lot of great capabilities, but in terms of consistency and reliability, not quite there yet. In fact, Bluetooth was one of the first things that, you know, in terms of me using Kinesis products, that was one of the first things that I was like, ah, I don't know about this. But I can't really blame Kinesis because that's how Bluetooth is. That's how, you know, my other devices are, some better than others, but Bluetooth is kind of a funky technology. So any device that uses Bluetooth is going to be, you know, 
potential to have those kinds of issues. Anyway, not Bluetooth, so you don't have that, very consistent. It's always gonna just work for the most part. Um, nothing is perfect, but this is definitely a better option than Bluetooth. So, enough about the Bluetooth. Let's talk about the mouse. Let's see what this mouse is all about. What is the big deal about this mouse? Well, first of all, it is very small, which is very nice. And I say, first of all, this is not the most important factor about it, but I'm just pointing this out first. As you can see, it's pretty small. Um, and that would make it very good for travel in terms of portability. So you can see it in my hand right there. So it's very, very small. These are all the different sizes of it. The back and the bottom and the top and the side. There is the mouse. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so here, here, let's talk about ergonomics. So, what's the big deal with this mouse? So, if you put your hand on the table, you put your hand on the table and then you dum 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 dum. That's what it's all about. Okay, so put your hand on the table. Just put it on the table. This is going to be the natural position, right? It's a natural hand at rest, right? That's how your hand is. Now, let's look at the difference between that natural position and holding the mouse. So this is me holding the mouse, right? Holding the mouse, holding the mouse, 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 mouse. And then if we kick this away, we can see very similar position. So I'm not twisting my hand like you would for a normal mouse, which causes problems and stress. Right there, that's why you guess we have uh, issues with your wrist. So I don't have that issue, because my hand is in a neutral position. And also, the way my fingers are, it's very natural, that's how it is. That's how you hold the mouse. So this is gonna make it nice in terms of ergonomics and comfort, long usage and not having issues with, with discomfort. Also, notice another difference. Typically with a mouse, you use a lot of your hand. So you're moving from the shoulder, you're moving all of your hand, and you're doing movements like this, which are much which much more broad and much more involved a lot of different parts i have the evelyn a vertical mouse which is much bigger so it's a big grip like this so you're doing a lot of movement like that now when i first used the dxt mouse um i actually thought ah because they talk about precision right because this is how you use it you're not using your whole hand you can just do like this much smaller more precise movements you're just using your fingers and yes even with these small movements, I'm able to cross three big screens that I use at work. Three big screens, I can cross all of them with just these small movements. Now, most, most movements, I'm gonna be moving like this, but when I wanna go across all screens, you know, I might do like that, like that, but I'm able to cover all screens like this, no problem. Now, because you're moving like this with your fingers, right, just like how you, how you use a pen, you have more precision working like this, right? So this is gonna be a much more precise mouse. When I first tested this, I thought, I tried to select like single characters really quickly, and I noticed it took me a little time to uh, select the characters, and I said, oh, this is not precise. They're talking all this mumbo jumbo about precision. And then I went to my my Evelyn mouse, and I tried to do the same thing, and I realized how precise it actually is. That was just my pessimism kicking in, thinking, oh, it's not precise. It was much more precise. When I got to the big mouse, the Evelyn mouse, compared to this big, right? Um, it was, it took me more time. It's just, it's hard to select a single character. It's, it, it takes precision, right? So it's gonna be a little bit challenging no matter which mouse you're using. But it certainly was easier with this than it was with a bigger Evelyn mouse, which is a great mouse, but this is more precise. And in that sense, it's a superior mouse. Now the Evelyn mouse has more buttons on it, so that's an advantage there but this is certainly, uh, I think, a more comfortable mouse to use. And again, nothing against the Evelyn mouse, just pointing out something that's really awesome about the DXT mouse. So, it's an awesome mouse, you want one, and there's a link in the description so you can get one for yourself. But of course, don't just take my word for it. Look up online, take a look at the reviews for yourself, and see what other people think about the DXT mouse. What do I think? I love it. What do you think? Well, comment below. Anybody new to the channel, click on the like button and subscribe. And after you subscribe, go ahead and click on the bell icon to the right of the subscribe button. You're going to do that because if you don't do that, you're not going to get notified when I upload new videos. So click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos right here on this channel. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for tomorrow for my product of the day leading up to 
the holidays. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. I promise I won't sing again in any of the videos. Well, I can't promise that. Anyway, happy holidays. Thumbnail, please. What's going to be the thumbnail? Thumbnail. 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 There's no nail, but there's definitely a thumb. I don't know. Thumbnail. Let's see what's a good thumbnail. Hold it up like this. There you go. I'm going to hold it like this. Yeah, there you go. Look at how tiny that mouse is. It's amazing. Anybody seeing this is going to instantly click on this video because they're going to be like, wow, that mouse looks awesome. Now that's a mouse. Now that's a mouse. <laughs> All right, guys. DXT mouse. Link in the description.